I recently laid a vinyl floor in my van and I'm really happy with how it turned out, with one exception, the load ring holes by the rear doors. With the holes pre-cut in the plywood, I laid the vinyl over the top and, with a series of careful cuts, created edges that could be pulled through the holes and stuck to the underside of the floor. I thought this would create a neat edge, but having had the floor in the van for a while, I'm not so sure. So as you can see, the two holes by the rear doors are far from neat. The edge I glued underneath has even started peeling off, so I wanted to address this. Using some of the leftover rubber L section from the rear door edge, I hoped to create a rubber door edge around the hole which would make it look a ton better. My first step was to cut away the existing edge which had been folded through the hole and stuck underneath. This didn't have to be neat by any means, as it would all be covered by the rubber. With that done I placed the rubber around the hole and made a mark where I would cut, being a bit generous so I could trim it down if necessary and get a good fit. Using a right angled edge, a small sellotape dispenser in my case, I stuck the rubber on to make a neat cut. I then tested the fit again in the hole and set about gluing the edges together. I used cyanoacrylate medium viscosity super glue again and found it gave an incredibly strong bond to the rubber. Pressing the ends together I had a bit of trouble getting the top edges to stick and it left a v-shaped gap. So I sanded the super glue off, glued it again and this time got a really good result. While I finish this, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and keep up to date on my van build. I was then able to fit the rubber in the hole and I have to say I'm really happy with the result. I could then do the other load ring hole which sits under the bed. I found that lightly sanding the top of the rubber with a very fine grit sandpaper gets rid of any glue overspill and levels where the two ends meet to give a very nice finish. You may have noticed that the rubber doesn't sit flush with the vinyl floor, and although this would have been ideal, I couldn't find a way to get an accurate cut for a perfect finish, so I opted to keep the rubber raised, but I still think this looks very smart. Overall I'm really happy with how this turned out, and it's a nice finishing touch to the floor. Please do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and thanks for watching!